Hello channel friends, this is W Copeland 38 and I'm continuing on my little series of videos for Christmas gifts. This is the Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops Drop Point Knife and it's SWEX1. It's a really nice little knife. It's got a lanyard hole. It's a liner lock and for a knife this price take a look at the lineup on the blade. This dude is perfectly centered. Whoops, almost dropped it. It's got a nice uh, pocket clip. Of course, it's black. Open construction. Uses Torx retaining screws. It's got a nice, nice feel on the handle. Now, it's not a spring assist and they're quite tight out of the box. Great looking little knife. Let's go over some specs on it. Give you a full view here. It's got a three and a half inch blade and a four and a half inch handle. It's 400 series stainless steel. It's got a special coated blade and a special coating on the handle. The handle is aluminum. It's a little bit heavy. It's at 4.6 ounces, so it's a, not a boat, but it, it's a rather heavy knife. It's got a fully honed uh, locking blade. Let me give you a little close-up of the blade. I really like this drop point. It's got a little swedge there. Now, it's got dual thumb studs. It is a liner lock. There's the liner. There you go. Now this one doesn't write on a ball bearing. I couldn't see one in there. It is open pillar construction. And it's got a nice texture like I mentioned before on the, uh, the handle. I really like it even though it is aluminum. Now it does have a uh, if you can see it's got a a liner inside of the aluminum on here. That's one of their little production things they did. It's got a good feel. It's nice and comfortable. It's got a little indent for your fingers and a little rise here to prevent try to prevent your thumb from slipping. Now there are no uh, no jimping on it anywhere. It has a little bit if you want to consider it jumping on the uh, liner lock. But it's a nice little uh, all around the house type of knife. I would recommend it for EDC. It's not overly sized but it's not too little. Now you'll have to play with the uh, Torx if you want it to flip open very easily. This one's rather tight. I haven't taken the time to play with them because when I saw them on sale I wanted to hurry up and get a little video out so you could uh, evaluate it for yourself take a look at your local big five that like I said this was on sale for 12 bucks you can't really beat it it's a nice stocking stuffer kind of a knife someone would appreciate that's a wants to have an all around the house knife or for EDC now one thing different between this one and I just did the camo is that the pocket clip is a nice high rise so it's going to sit down in your pocket pretty good and it's the tang that sticks out isn't as long as the uh, the other knife so it's not it's not going to go into the pocket quite as easily as the other Smith & Wesson did but it's still uh, going to real, be a real nice blade Give you another little close up of it. It's a plain edge blade. Go on down to your big local Big Five store, see what you think of it. I'm going to show you the box again. It's SWE X1. Nice little knife for the money. Go on down and check it out. This is W Copeland 38 saying I'll be back with more for you.